My name is Peter Wilson. I work with BAE Systems and I'm based at Patuxent River on the east coast of the United States in Maryland and my job title is the Stovall Lead Test Pilot. The F-35 is, uh, is the most pleasurable airplane I've ever flown and the thing that I like most about it is that it's at the cutting edge of technology and so that brings with it some fairly delightful sort of functions and features and, and characteristics uh, and I'll give you just a highlight of a few of them. The airplane is extremely precise to fly and I'm, I'm really kind of talking about in the hover and, and so I'm talking about the F-35B particularly but it's across the board under any circumstances whenever you ask it to do something it does it very precisely and it does it in a way that's very predictable which is extremely nice for the pilot. It's just one of the characteristics that you want in your airplane. The helmet which incorporates the helmet mounted display and allows you to uh, see things in the aeroplane that you wouldn't otherwise be able to see on, on a normal airplane. For example, you can look down and see the ground directly underneath you because the aeroplane can take an image from a camera on the bottom of the fuselage that is looking straight down with an uninterrupted view of the earth underneath the airplane and then can put that image on the visor of the, uh, of the pilot. So it gives you the impression you can see through things. So there's almost 360 degree coverage in every direction, which is a complete delight. You know, I mean, it's a pilot's dream to be able to see everything around him without any obstructions uh, whatsoever in the way. Here's another one. Everyone likes using their devices. You know, the, the iPad, the iPhone have become the latest things that we love to use. And the touch sensitive displays in the airplane have moved such a long way that when you sit in the F-35 you can't help but be really taken in by this huge 20 inch wide screen. It's such a massive display, touch sensitive, and, and it displays the information about the tactical situation, everything going on on your sensors, all your integration with the airplane systems. It displays everything in such a nice way. It's just a very pleasurable way to operate an airplane. So you always feel like you're at the cutting edge. It feels very fifth generation. It feels very advanced. And as a pilot, that makes the airplane an absolute delight. Well, I've been to uh, Australia and actually was part of their leading fighter program. There are things that they do in their leading fighter program which are going to help the pilots get used to the F-35, such as they've now got a, um, a radar simulation. They can drop weapons. You know, they've got uh, color displays. They've got a head-up display. Lots of things there which the leading fighter does. But what the leading fighter lacks that the F-35 has is the fly-by-wire and the incredible array of sensors. You know, the, uh, the leading fighter is, is fabulous, but it's hard to draw comparisons between it and the F-35 because they're just completely different beasts. A more interesting comparison there is the F-18. And I've flown the F-18, got, uh, got a few hundred hours on the F-18 myself, and I enjoyed the F-18 when I flew it. I would say that the F-18 feels like a legacy airplane relative to the F-35 and that comes down to the displays and the, and the helmet display and the amount of information coming into the cockpit and, and the sensors of the F-35 which are far, far more advanced than the F-18. Of course the other big thing that we haven't mentioned yet but is very important is the stealthiness and I think that's where the F-35 wins hands down over the F-18 and you've only got to look at the shape of the F-35 to realize that it is built from the outset to be a stealthy airplane and it does a phenomenal job of it. That is a game changer. I can't stress that enough that that is one of the things that Australia is truly going to enjoy about the F-35, the fact that the enemy can't see you coming. When you sort of break it down to the avionics systems, some of the benefits of the F-35 are things like there's no radios in the airplane. That sounds a bit crass, like how can there not be radios? Well they're actually just software modules. And so the radios, they don't exist. You can't point to the radio. It's a software radio. Whereas in an F-18, you can point to the radio. You can take the radio out. You can, the radio can break. In fact, it's quite a common occurrence for radios of that generation of airplane to break and you lose one of your ability to communicate with the outside world. And the F-35, it's just software. And if the airplane starts up, the radios are going to be working. It's not like the radios can't work because they're just software. And it's examples like that which make the F-35 the super advanced machine that it is today and make it more reliable from a pilot's perspective so that the airplane is going to be there, ready to go, everything working more often than it was on the legacy airplane. So anywhere you fly an F-35, you're obviously aware that when you bring the airplane back and land it, it's going to need some maintenance. And so it's, it's very obvious to the pilot that every single man who's involved in the system from the pilot who's almost like the top of the pyramid if you think of it that way you know he's the guy who's lucky enough to actually get hands on the airplane while it's in the air but as soon as you land you hand it back to the maintenance teams and if the maintenance teams can't do their job properly then the pilot's not going to get the airplane back anytime soon because the 
the airplane's not going to be ready. So from you know, fueling the airplane or, or, or changing some piece of hardware or putting stores on it or fixing something that's broken. I mean, there's so many aspects to this, all of which are absolutely critical to make the whole team effort hang together so that the pilot, who just happens to be the lucky guy who flies it, can do his job. So, and I think every F-35 pilot recognizes that this is a complete team effort and you need everybody at every level doing their part and only then do you have a truly sustainable platform that the F-35 has the capability to be.